Hey guys, Tina here. So I've just come back from my organic health food store, the kind of place that sells protein bars and, um, you know, protein powders in the screwed top jars and organic cosmetics. And I've decided with this new TTC journey, I'm going to swap out my usual dental products for something a little bit uh, more natural. And so today I am swapping my, I use a sensitive toothpaste called Sensodyne. I don't know if that's relatable all over the world, but um, I've swapped it. I'm going to swap it for a natural, um, it says SLS free sodium laurel sulfate, I think, and paraben free, and it's a mineral toothpaste with a mild minty flavor. And so I'm going to swap this out. Um, I'm going to double check all the ingredients in here to make sure they're safe for people potentially during pregnancy, but also in the lead up. Um, because if they're not, well, that completely defeats the purpose of changing my products, doesn't it? Um, so that was one product I bought. And then I also bought a mouthwash. It's a tea tree, um, it says Australia's original mouthwash. It's alcohol free. Um, and tea tree is, I guess, like a gum tree basically. Yeah. And um, yay for down under. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try this out and swap out my usual. So again, I'll have to check if tea tree is okay to use, but my question to everybody is, what products do you swap? Do you swap any at all? Um, and if you do, um, what are they? I, last time I stopped using my Redken oil detox shampoo and my hair is crazy today, but, um, I loved that shampoo and I need it back in my life. But for now I use an organic herbal shampoo. Now it was, I was using one with lemon myrtle in it. Uh, and again, another native Australian leaf or herb, something like that. So, um, but my sister told me that that's not safe during pregnancy. So I won't be using that again or for now anyway, but it was good because it, it um, had sort of astringent ish qualities that meant that the oil would, you know, be stripped nicely from my hair, but you know, the oil you want stripped from your hair, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, the other thing that I swapped was I've always used a Lancome mascara, regardless of hypnose or whatever I've used any of them. And I swapped that for an organic mascara. It's called Eri Perez or something like that. And I miss my old mascara because I have seriously the shortest eyelashes in history. However, you know, you do what you do. So that's another thing. But what I am looking for is a suggestion of foundation and a bronzer. Now, I don't know if that's what it's called everywhere, but you know, those a blush product with a, that gives you the sun kissed look is basically what I'm looking for, but all natural and safe to use. Um, so nothing, yeah, basically is completely natural as possible. And that's kind of overkill, I know, but um, I just like to do that sort of stuff because I know I always want to wear cosmetics. And even though I don't use a lot, I should use more. I just, um, I still don't want to not have have anything to use. And last time I really didn't use that much and. Um, yeah, you get a real understanding of how you've got a routine and you've got a way that you are used to presenting yourself in front of people. And when you have to change that, it sort of it feels funny. So anyway, they're my questions. And then the other question that I have is progesterone supplements. I'm thinking I might use them this time around if I, you know, whatever BFP comes. Uh, in the future and whenever that is. However, um, my levels aren't low. And my fertility specialist has, will do, you know, she's happy to do whatever I, um, whatever I think I, I want to do, but she wouldn't be recommending it off the cuff. So if you have a fertility specialist that does as just a precautionary measure, regardless, prescribes progesterone, I'd like to hear if you've been talked through any of the risks associated with it and how much standing you think the risks are you know i mean there's a few risks i've heard of i won't mention them because i don't know how true they are anyway um but yeah just you know what the risks are of using progesterone supplements if your progesterone levels seem to be okay um i just you know it's just an, another extra precaution really that i'm i'm willing to give a go if there's not too much risk in it um and then on a completely random note I also, while I was out, bought this cute little birdie. 
Um, it was like $4, which I think is ridiculous for this, but I had to buy it. It was so cute. And um, it, yeah, I mean, come on, surely it should be 10 for like, I don't know, $8 or something like that. But anyway, I bought this. It's spring starts next week here. And that's symbolic of new life and, you know, all those beautiful things that make us feel warm and fuzzy. And I also bought, so I thought, yep, got to have him her whatever and I also bought a little embroidery hoop because I absolutely love Pinterest as well I've mentioned that I've mentioned that in a couple of comments anyway and um, so yeah I'm gonna see what cool thing I can do I mean this is such a tiny little hoop I'd never seen them that small and people do all those cool things with fabrics and paint them up and I'm gonna do that I think and who knows what I'll make I'll just hang it from somewhere and it'll be like a new you know, symbolic of my new journey ahead. And um, maybe a bit of that, I don't know, something, we'll see. So that's gonna be a little bit of fun for me and completely random. And if you aren't completely bored by that little side um, conversation, then thank you for watching and I will speak to you soon.